Hi, um, I'm Paul Hanlon, uh, Session Hairdresser. I just thought I'd like to share with you um, a story. It's just a very personal thing that I just wanted to share. And uh, I think in this moment that we're in right now of, you know, stillness and self-reflection, um, it's just made me think a lot about, you know, you know, the reason maybe why I do the job that I love so much and why I find it so inspiring. Um, and it's about this uh, really beautiful, ornate um, little geisha head that um, I'm very lucky enough to have at home. It all started eight years ago when I was with my wife. We traveled to Kyoto in Japan um, to see her grandparents. One day we were around the, these little side streets and I just, at the core of my eye, caught a glimpse of this like, uh, sort of window with these beautiful, it's about 10 or 12 of these beautiful heads in the window, this being one of them. And as we went in, it was this little salon, very small, and it was like four chairs. And it was just in the corner of the, of the salon, there was this little old lady, bless her, Mrs. Saito, doing this uh, lady's hair uh, with like elastic in her teeth, like tying the hair, doing this like really incredible kind of geisha um, hairstyle. She, uh, the bell rang as we walked in. I kind of wanted to just understand like, who had made this, this amazing thing. And the story is that, uh, well, it was hers, uh, all 12 in the window were hers. And the idea is that they practice on these very small heads, in this very sort of confined space to become very articulate at doing this hair and very precise. And the idea is that once you sort of, in a sense, refine that skill in a sort of small space, when you go on to do a sort of, you know, real person size, head it's a lot more easier we left and we were having lunch and i just couldn't get it out of my head we went back after my wife thought i was crazy maybe she thought it was maybe inappropriate as well but i just really wanted to connect with her you know i just wanted to tell her you know obviously i was a hairdresser i was just inspired i, I still get inspired to it this day you know sometimes you know when i work with alessandro at gucci you know we, we've taken inspiration from sort of asian you know Japanese influence hair. Obviously through translation, you know, she told me that she made this, this, this exact one when she, I think it was 20 years old, 21 years old. So it's kind of incredible. This is why I think it's inspiring. It's incredible to think that something that still looks so perfect, you know, stood the test of time at 60 years and, it, and the hair still looks like that. It's incredible. You know, we're so used to doing hair on shoots and shows at the end of the shoot with the show the girl washes her hair and it's gone we have nothing except for a photograph we have no memory of it and yet she has something that she did you know at the beginning of her life and you know now being 82 she still has this there with her it's like a tells a story of her, her journey i think it's really beautiful and so as we were leaving she sort of uh, tapped me on the shoulder as i turned around she was holding this exact head um, as it exactly is now uh, and, and giving it to me and, and as I turned to my wife and uh, Yoshiko, my wife's mother, they were both in tears. And basically Yuki said to me, she wants to give it to you. And so I was kind of, you know, very overtaken, very overwhelmed. And I, I kind of didn't want to accept it, and, but I did as well. It, it was really, really awkward. And so I didn't want to take it, and yet she kept touching me, and she kept saying, you know, in Japanese, oh, take it, please take it. I accepted this incredible thing that I never, you know, thought I would have, and, uh, you know, she just said to me, uh, I really want you to look after it, I want you to take care of it, uh, you know, and just get inspired by it, like I, I was then, and I still am today, every time I look at it, I, it gives me inspiration, and, gives me joy as to why I do what I do. When I came back to England, I made a box for her, I took pictures, I sent it to her, and kind of just thanked her for uh, connecting with her and having something that she'd done so long ago passed on to me uh, to sort of still keep inspiring me to this day and uh, really kind of appreciate the job that I do. And I just felt like in this time, it was the right time to share this because I think it's a time of reflection and to really look at inspiration of why we do things uh, in certain ways. So, arigato, Mrs. Saito. Thank you.